Pittsburgh Steelers fullback Derek Watt had a very scary moment recently when they were playing the Cincinnati Bengals. On a punt return play, Derek Watt was playing special teams and he went downfield to cover the punt. His head ended up going into the offensive player's knee and he seemed to be knocked unconscious for several moments. Watt will eventually get up and walk off the field with assistance. However, he went immediately over to the medical tent on the side of the field. After this, he would not return to the game and he was ruled out for the remainder of the session. After this, Watt left and had a formal evaluation. However, some very good news, he did tweet later saying that he was feeling okay. Thankfully, at this stage, it does not look like he's going to be having any permanent damage. What's very interesting about this case, however, is right after Derek Watt did hit the punt returner, his body went into a specific type of posturing that has a lot of sports fans and other people confused. Welcome football fans. For those of you that aren't familiar with my channel, my name is Nick Gallo and I'm a doctor of physical therapy. With today's video, I want to take a very close look at a very scary injury to Derek Watt that happened in the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Cincinnati Bengals matchup. First, I'm going to show the actual injury video so that we get a very good visualization for the mechanism of injury. Then I want to go over the specific anatomy involved with this particular type of injury. And finally, I want to go over why we saw Derek Watt go into this abnormal posturing after this head trauma. If you like today's video and you find it informative, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I will be making more videos in the future regarding sports injuries, rehabilitation, and other physical therapy related content. Also, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those in the section below. Now to begin, let's take a look at that specific mechanism of injury. The Bengals punt returner catches the ball and begins to run upfield. Watt goes in for the tackle and immediately after the play is over with, we see him laying on the ground unconscious. His teammates know something's wrong and they begin to wave over the medical staff. Eventually Watt gets up and is helped to the side of the field with assistance where he is being looked at in the medical tent. Here we can see that as Watt goes in for the tackle, his head goes right to the punt returner's knee, causing a head trauma. Because Watt hit with such an impact to his head, he will lay on the ground with his arms flexed, as shown. This is a type of posturing that is associated with severe head trauma and is known as decortigate posturing. Here is a textbook presentation of decortigate posture. We see that there is extension at the ankles, knees, and flexion at the elbows, the wrists, and the shoulder is an adduction. There are several things that can cause decortigate posture, however, one of the main ones is a traumatic head injury. A head trauma causes damage to the brain because our brains are free-floating in a liquid called cerebrospinal fluid. It will act as a cushion to protect the brain from injury, however, if the force is great enough, then the brain can hit the side of the skull. This can result in a person having a concussion and or losing consciousness, but it is important to note that not all concussions result in loss of consciousness. In Derek Watt's case, he was running so fast and the impact was so great on his skull that he did lose consciousness and we saw this abnormal posturing. Although he does not have a textbook presentation of decortigate posture, we see that the arms are stuck in flexion and that his legs are extended as he's unconscious on the ground. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense that he was seen in the medical tent and that he was ruled out for the remainder of the game. So to recap, Derek Watt was sprinting down the field on a punt coverage play when he went for a tackle. As he went for the tackle, his head made contact with the punt returner's knee, which caused a great trauma to his head. Now, right after the hit, we see him turn over and he's in an abnormal posture where his legs are completely extended, his arms are flexed in, and it seems that he is unconscious. After a head trauma, this posture is known as decortigate posturing. Decortigate posturing is characterized by a person having flexed arms, flexed wrists, and extended legs while they are laying on the ground. Now, when a person goes into abnormal posturing, this is indicative of a trauma that the person has sustained to the brain. Now, because also Derek Watt was knocked unconscious, we can also tell that there is some sort of trauma going to his brain. We just don't know the full extent of it as of yet. If a person is going to go into abnormal posturing, such as decortigate posturing, immediately the person should go be checked out by a medical professional and have some sort of imaging such as an MRI or a CAT scan to see what is going on with the brain. Fortunately for Watt, it seems that right now he's doing pretty well based on his tweet and we will wait and see what exactly is going on with him in the weeks to come. Whenever we see a player that's laying on the ground after a vicious hit like that, we all get very concerned and think that there is some sort of spinal cord involvement. However, in this case, it doesn't appear that that is so. Once we find out more specific information, I will be doing a follow 
follow-up video so that we can know more specifically about this injury. And that's it for now for the injury that Derek Watt sustained in the most recent game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Once again, if you like today's video and you find it informative, please subscribe to the channel because I will be making more videos in the future. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.